In his first press conference as the new election commission chairman, Dato Sri Muhammad Hashim Abdullah, says his first job is to ensure the coming Sarawak state election will be carried out in the best manner. Muhammad Hashim says voters can conduct preliminary checks for information such as the state and parliament constituencies where they will vote in on the committee's website and via phone starting from Thursday. He says information such as the specific localities will only be available at a later date. Since the increase of state seats in Sarawak from 71 to 82 following the delineation exercise approved by Parliament in December last year, many voters in the state will see changes to the places where they vote. Muhammad Hashim says after the Sarawak election, the committee will prepare for the Sabah election and eventually the 14th general election for Peninsula Malaysia. Muhammad Hashim, who replaced Tan Sri Abdul Aziz Muhammad Yusuf as the committee chairman on January the 24th, asked for time as it's only three days into his job. Buat pertama kali ini, saudara-saudari nak mendengar daripada saya apakah visi saya dan misi saya. Itu yang utamanya. Kalau nak tanya yang lebih-lebih, baru tiga hari. Jadi saya adalah, visi saya adalah akan terus berusaha untuk menjadikan SPR sebagai sebuah badan bebas dan berkecuali yang mendapat kepercayaan tinggi rakyat serta mendapat pengiktirafan dunia mengikut peruntukan yang termaktub dalam Perlembagaan Persekuan dan Undang-Undang Pilihan Raya. Dan misi saya ialah untuk terus memastikan penambahbaikan sistem pilihan raya dilakukan bersesuaian dengan keadaan semasa dan mengikut keperluan negara. He says the Sarawak election will see a budget cut from its initial estimated cost of 181 million ringgit and he expects a 10 to 15% reduction. Perlu kita rundingkan terutamanya bajet-bajet yang melibatkan besar apa ni perbelanjaan dia. Pagi ini saja apa ni Datuk SU mengadakan rundingan kembali dengan syarikat-syarikat yang nak membekalkan perkakasan untuk pilihan raya. Jadi kita of course lah syarikat dia memerlu dia nak kepada keuntungan. Tetapi dalam keadaan sekarang kita syarikat kena fikir juga tentang margin tu. Kan, jangan ambil terlampau tinggi ke dalam keadaan kita berjimat cermat. Jadi kita panggil untuk rundingan semula dan minta supaya uh, diturunkan. Tetapi tidak melemahkan uh, perkhidmatan yang diberikan kepada kita. He says the committee always faces allegations and that it is biased, but more importantly, he is only concerned about doing its best in each election. He says during each election, there would be people who wanted to challenge the system and measures taken by the committee to ensure a fair election.